Okay, welcome back. In this episode, we are going to learn about what you mean by a function prototype in C programming. So, before going to learn what you mean by function prototype, you have to know about what is the actual need of a function prototype in a C program. So, here in this example, I am going to demonstrate uh, what is the actual need of a function prototype and how to use a function prototype in a C program. So, here in this program, I declare two variables x and y and ask the user to enter two numbers and off. enter first number so the user enter a number and I save the number into variable x so percentage d comma using address operator x okay now ask for the second number so user enter the second number and save the second number into variable y okay so in this program there is only one main function is now available so here I am going to define another function called calculate calculate is a function but here you can notice that this function has no return type that means here I am not specified any return type for this function but here I specify two arguments for for this function int a and int b so calculate is a function that has two argument but for this function I am not define any return type for this function even there is no void is present okay so on main function I declare another variable called a result called r not result int r r is an another variable and here I define I create a statement like this calculate and pass the value of x and y to that function now look at this program and here also I create a statement I declare a variable called R. I use the same variable that is ok because every variable is local to a function in C programming so we can use the same variable name in two function and I make a statement here is A divided by B and I return that function return return R now look at this program here is a function calculate is a function that has two arguments the two arguments are integers and in that function I declare another variable r and I make this expression r equal to a divided by b and I finally I return the value of r so definitely we have to define the return type of this function so I define the return type as int now look at this program now all the statements are fine here because this function has a return type integer and it return an integer value and that result is got in variable r and finally I print the result print off result equal to percentage d and here the variable is r ok now everything is fine in this program but here I have not specified the return type for this function ok so if we compile the program we expect a compiler error because this function return an integer value and here I am not, specif I am not specified any return type for this function so we expect a compiler error when we compile the program so 
we can check it I'm going to compile the program surprise there is no errors are available in this program when we compile it so I run the program the program run successfully that means there is no logical or syntax error available in this program I put value for first number I put value for second number we got the correct result so what happens in this program here is a function called the calculate but here this function has no return type then how we got the output here we here we come to the point that if a function has no specific return type in a program then the compiler assumes that that function will return an integer value or we can say that the default return type of a C programming function is int. That's why there is no errors are available in this program. So the here I am not specified any return type for this function and here I return an integer value as a return type for this function. So the compiler assumes that this function return an integer value. That is correct because it all it it return an integer value always because R is integer. So we got the correct output. So that is the point you have to notice if there is no return type is specified in a C programming function that function the compiler assumes that that function return an integer value. Also we can say that the default return type of a C programming function is int. So again I am going to run the program run it and I enter the first number as 5 now I enter the second number as 2 we got the result as 2 but the actual result is 2.5 but we are not getting the correct answer so we can check the program here R is integer actually the expected result is a decimal one so we have to change the return type of this into float. So enter the first number, I read the first number and read the second number and finally I print out the result. Here instead of percentage %d I put percentage %f and I pass the two value to this function and here also instead of int I define r as float. here you need to provide a typecasting this is called a typecasting in C programming because here A and B are integers and R is a floating point value and if the result of this expression is a float one the assignment operator is not able to convert the floating point value at the right side into a float value to the left side because the left is an integer value so we have to specify which is the target value so here the target one is floating value that's why we I put a bracket here and specify here that the expected result is a floating point so we got the correct result on variable R before return that value I just print out that the value of R here result r equal to result in user function equal to percentage f and specify the variable name here the variable name is r ok so here we can you, ha you can notice that here the return type is here the variable is actually a floating point one but it will return so we have to for this for return this value we have to define the return type of this function as float so now the return type of this function is float it is not integer because we return and float value as a result 
and of course here in this in, uh, look at this program now all the statements are fine because the result on the main function the target variable is float and here I call that function with the two integer values and here we make the expression float equal to a by b and we got the result in variable r we just print the result in function and finally we return that result back to the main function so here r is a float one so we got the output correctly in variable r so here I'm going to compile the program we can see what happens we got an error here but look at the program all are fine but when we compile the program we got a compiler error that error is the function prototype for the function calculate is missing that means if a function return a value other than integer in a C program you have to specify the prototype of that function in the calling function so here the calling function is the main function and the called function is calculate so you have to specify the prototype of the called function inside the calling function so here is the calling here is the function call so before going to call that function I have to specify the prototype of the calling function called function so uh, the prototype is very simple first you have to specify the return type other than integer so here the return type is float and now specify the function name here the function name is calculate and you have to specify the data type of the parameters used in that function so here the data type of the formal arguments are int here I passing two integer so I put the data type of the arguments are int comma int I using two integer notation here because here in this function I pass two integer values that's why for the prototype in the prototype of this function I using two int keyword as parameter parameter type okay now we can check it now I compile the program now the program is successfully compiled and now I am going to run it there is a mistake there is something errors are available in the program we have to check it out okay in our program there is a mistake in this printf statement I forgot to add the EF so it is printf now I compile the program so I compile it now there is no errors are available so now I am going to run the program so enter the first number I put first number as 5 and the second number put second number is 2 and we got the correct output in the function and main method result in user function is 2.5 and finally we got the result in main also 2.5 this is the usage and this is the requirement of the function prototype in a C program so you need a function prototype in a program if that particular function return a value which is other than integer that means if a function return if, if the return type of a function is not integer you have to specify the prototype of that particular function inside the calling function so here the calling function is main method that's why I put the function prototype for this function inside the main method so if this function is called from more than one function you have to specify the function prototype of this function of that particular function inside the all the calling function or you can specify the function prototype outside of all the function like this float calculate int comma int this is also valid so by doing like this this function prototype is available in all the functions available in this program so in that case there is no need to specify the function prototype in individual function that call the function called the calculate okay this is the use of a function prototype in C programming I hope you enjoy this video please try this by yourself and please subscribe my channel now for getting more video updates thank you for watching see you in the next part